Hi there, this is Danny Line Song um, with Grant, Records of the Grand Historian. We're back again looking at this pyramid in the Christ Child's head, and I had noticed that it has a mirror heading of 29119. That's a double raw number when you draw a line between this one and the Luxor um, obelisk, and it's also a 6.06 .06 distance. Um, the 6.06, and a lot of people worry about the sixes, these are field numbers. It's the sixth dimension. We're actually in a lower dimension than that right now, so six is a step up from three, unless we are only tricked to be to think that we are in the third. Either way, we do not need to fear the number six. We need to understand that it is of the field. It is, it is a, about being trapped in physicality. So this is a 606 gateway. It's, so it's, Six is on either side of a zero. That's what this number means. And it's also the English gematria of a 101 gateway. So if you had a 101 uh, gateway number, like say Jupiter has a, a simple gematria of 101, its English gematria would be 606. Just to give you a little background on the 606, that is a material mirror. And the 101 is a straight one gateway. OK, the 2191. Nine, we just found this number. I just found this number in the dragon horse head. So I'm kind of glad that I looked at that and then I came back here. Now here we're looking at the pyramid. I measured this with my little cheapy back to school thing, you know, just on the screen. And here I am counting. I'm trying to figure out if they give you a clue to what it is. But what I found was this angle looks to me like it's 119 degrees. And I measured it a few times in my little, I have a little cheapy plastic thing, so it could be wrong. I would like a better way to measure on the screen. If anybody has an idea, please tell me in the comments. Um, but we know what 119 symbolizes. That is the 911 backwards. That is the 923. That is the 266 day. That is the gestation number. So over and over again, we are talking about a birth. I believe here I am. I'm pulling out the. I think I'm pulling out the um, the heading of the two um, of the two nine one one nine, and it goes to the Caspian Sea. This is where this is, I, I do feel like this is an important site, and I don't understand it right now. So if you have any insight on the Caspian Sea, besides it being beautiful, you can let me know. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, the birth symbolism number. Yeah, so much birth symbolism. So this video is going to end pretty soon. I sped it up. Oh, it goes down to Cambodia. This line goes down to Cambodia. There are tons of undiscovered pyramids down there. There's sacred temples. There's so many clues in Cambodia. So very interesting. But um, I think they're talking about the birth of a new age, the birth of a new species. I um, don't know exactly what this is going to mean. For mankind, I feel that I feel that this is a this is a this is a point of diversion of diverging paths for the Earth, and these people who put these signs in the landscape, um, I don't know. I'm I I don't know if I can moralize on their motivation for doing this. I don't know if they're sending a message to the sky. I don't know if they're making giant voodoo dolls. Um, I don't know if they are sort of trying to warn the people in a sideways way, like without directly warning the people. They're they're trying to warn the people that they have kept in the dark all these all these years. I'm not sure what they're doing, but they are pointing towards a birth. Um, and the 9/11, the, the in 2001, that was the burning down of two twin towers, and we have a lot of twin symbolism. So just leaving all those clues open here, just trying to pull back the curtain. We're, it's like we're Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. We're trying to pull back the curtain and see what's going on behind the curtain. All right. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.